Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Ladies and gentlemen, what has our government told us and the Federal Reserve, which I consider them, you know, one and the same, in our recent history that's been true? What have they told us that has actually been true? Every number that they give us, they end up revising a month later in order to fool the markets, etc., etc., right? So when I take a look at the heading of this article, Surprise, the Fed says that the stress tests for all the big banks, all 23 big banks, they all pass with flying colors, ladies and gentlemen. And they're pretty much saying, yeah, if they fail, we'll be able to cover them. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me I'm going to give you some information and you do with it what you would like to do with it, all right? But I'm going to show you why it is that I believe that you should take your money out of the bank as much as possible, leave a little bit in there to pay your bills, etc., etc., but try to liquidate as much cash as you can out of the bank because whenever the fed comes out and starts telling us hey everything is going to be all right man i don't know i find that a little bit fishy it's just like miss janet yellen how she told us several years ago when she used to be the head of the fed of the federal reserve isn't that something how janet yellen used to be the chairman of the federal reserves and now she's the treasury secretary for the united states of america uh, can anyone say revolving door well, ladies and gentlemen, we have problems under her, and we'll have problems under Powell, and now we'll have problems under her again as being secretary. There's going to be problems no matter what because our financial system is flawed. The way that this system was set up is flawed, ladies and gentlemen. It was set up, well, not flawed for the people in charge, but it's flawed for you and me, the regular person that earns a wage or a salary. Right? But when they tell you that everything's going to be all right, it means that you ought to really start thinking about what will you do in case things are not all right. The Fed reports that the 23 largest U.S. banks passed their annual stress test, including Credit Suisse. But that's not it, ladies and gentlemen. After I read this very short part for you, I'm going to show you why it is that I feel, all right, and this is my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. You have to do your own research and do what you want to do and are comfortable with doing, ladies and gentlemen. But this is why I feel I will show you why we must have money out of the banking system. All right, but let's read on first. Today's results confirm that the banking system remains strong and resilient, said the vice chair for supervision, Michael S. Barr. All right, at the same time, he says, this stress test is only one way to measure that strength. We should remain humble about how risks can arise and continue our work to ensure that banks are resilient to a range of economic scenarios, market shocks, and other stresses. And this is one reason why this should really, I don't want to say scare you, but worry you. Is why they are stress testing this these banks and what they're stress testing them for. So like for example, if if I'm stress testing a car to see how good the tires are, it so that if the tires blow out, then we know what will happen to the car, right? Probably a terrible example, but they're saying the possibility of this happening is so great that we need to stress test it for this. The regulatory's yearly stress testing of the banks, which started performing after the 2008 financial crisis, revealed that they could withstand a 40% drop in commercial real estate prices and aggregated losses of more than half a trillion dollars without failing. So why are they testing them to see if they can have a 40% drop in real estate prices? More than likely, ladies and gentlemen, it's because we're going to have a huge drop like that in real estate prices and we can see it coming with the interest rates going up and now being that it costs more to mortgage a property the price of those properties are going to start coming down so you can expect a 40 percent drop they're telling you right here what we can expect during this next economic downturn the scenarios that the 23 biggest banks faced also included a severe economic recession there you go we can expect a severe economic recession, 10% unemployment, and a large drop in home prices. We just talked about the home prices. I believe that the unemployment numbers will be a lot more than 10%, personally. And here they say that for the first time, the board conducted an exploratory market shock on the trading books of the largest banks, testing them against greater inflationary pressures and rising interest rates. Ladies and gentlemen, they're telling us what's coming down the road. 
we need to make sure that we get our financial houses in order now let me show you what i told you i was going to show you about why it is that i feel that we need to have cash out of the bank do you really think that the banks even have a little bit of the cash that they say they have check this out and let me tell you that this is all public information i will leave the link to these articles and to these sites so that you can go visit them and check them out for yourself but here is from the federal reserve and it shows how many billions of dollars times a thousand so trillions of dollars there are in deposits in u.s banks so all of the deposits even that $100 worth of cash that your, your child has in their first bank account is included in this. And right now, as of, I believe this is May, as of, no, as of June 14th, there was $17.2 trillion in deposits in U.S. banks. $17.2 trillion, ladies and gentlemen. How much of that money do you think is available for you or for us, the depositors, to withdraw well let's take a look this is another page at the fed currency in circulation this is physical currency in circulation not in the u.s but in the entire world and you can see right here that this one only takes us all the way back to may of 2023 physical currency in circulation in the world not the u.s only is 2.3 trillion dollars ladies and gentlemen so just in u.s banks we have what was it 17 trillion i believe it was we have 17.2 trillion dollars of deposits just in the u.s but in the entire world we only have 2.3 trillion dollars of physical notes now what's going to happen if these banks go down ladies and gentlemen do you really think that they're going to be able to supply you with the cash that you have deposited in the bank right now? Absolutely not. And uh, there's something that I wanted to cover really quick that I think is noteworthy. And France is burning up. All right. France is burning. France mobilizes 40,000 police officers after all hell breaks out, they say. So what happened in France is here probably a couple of days ago or so, a 17-year-old uh, immigrant that had just come into the country not too long ago was uh, shot and killed by police officers. Uh, you can read the story for yourself, but this caused riots to spread all over France. Why am I covering this? This is a great reason to prepare, ladies and gentlemen. There are riots. I, I think there's a fire map over here. Let's check it out. Yeah, look at this. This is like a fire map right here, or a riot map, which they're lighting fires all over France. Do you think that the people that are not participating in these riots really want to be outside during this time? Another good reason to be prepared for at least several days of provisioning for your home, right? I would say months, if not a year. But if you're not prepared, if you haven't thought about becoming prepared, this is another good reason because this may be happening in France, but I believe that it's going to be coming to a city near you very soon, all right? I hope that it doesn't, but I believe it will. With inflation going up, with crime going up, with the political tension going on, with the geopolitical tensions going up all over the world, it's inevitable. And of course, we are in that cycle. We've entered the cycle of civil unrest, right, ladies and gentlemen? So it's gonna be getting, it's gonna be amplifying more and more. So get prepared so that you don't have to go out during times like this to go get milk or bread or water. Already have some prepped up so you don't have to participate and getting around these kinds of things. Having said that, I hope you got something out of this. I try to make this one as quick as possible. Have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. God bless every one of you. God bless America. I'm Alaska Prepper. I'm out.